I am just a girl, please. Don't fall. Don't you just love books that don't say what they're about? Just fantastic, really. <laughs> Welcome to my video, I'm Daniela and if you're new here, hello! If you're coming back from other videos, hi! I'm delighted to have you here and this is the best video of the month, obviously. It's choosing the TBR for the next month, so now I'm going to choose for July and I'm so excited. Um, this will have three parts, like always. First, it's the mystery book, ta -da! Um, then the second part will be just books I want to read and the third will be to be read jar. So let's do this. So the first part, the mystery book. This is it. Can you see that? This is quite a girthy book. It's, it's quite big. I, I have no idea what this book is. This book uh, and all the others that I have wrapped are from a um, secondhand online bookstore. So the only thing that I know about it is that it it's the July book, so it has to have the number seven in the title because July is the seventh month. So let's open it and see what we get. Also, it's so hot in here. So if you see me sweating throughout the video, that's why, because it's ridiculously hot. Okay, let's do this. Can you see that? Okay. I'll show you first and then I'll look. Let me break this part. Okay. Did you see what it is? This, oh my god, this is giant. <laughs> okay. This is The Seventh Scroll by Wilbur Smith. It's also very shiny. Uh, so this book. Durian al Simu and his beautiful half-English, half-Egyptian wife, Royan, were the first to discover the tomb of Queen Lostris. And with it, the riddle of the final resting place of the vast treasure of the great pharaoh Mamos. Uh, but as the search moves from the Nile to Ethiopia, a savage battle begins to unlock the pharaoh's secrets, for others will stop at nothing to claim the prize as their own. When Durian is brutally murdered, Royan is forced to seek refuge in England. With eminent archaeologist Nicholas Quentin Harper, she can pick up the pieces of her shattered life, and with him she can find the courage to return to Ethiopia. For Durian, for the long-dead slave Taita, and for the dreams of an ancient pharaoh. Oh, okay, so this is fiction. It's, it's giving mystery, like a treasure hunt. Um, and also, when I was scrolling through it, I noticed that, look at that, the first letters, can you see that? Please focus. The first letters are like so beautiful with the little symbols and everything, like you have another one here. See, this one here. I really hope I'm going to like this because it's big. It's, <laughs> it is 486 pages. Now, oh my god, I have... In my reading journal, I have like a bingo page and I have to have like one book that's over 600 pages and I thought this was going to be it, but I don't think it is. So, well, it's definitely not because it's 400 something pages, but it looks so big. So yeah, this is the book of the July. Now for the second part, it's time for books I want to read or finish reading in July is just, there will be, this category will be far bigger than usual because there is a lot of summer books that I want to read, so I hope I will read them in summer. So the first one has nothing to do with summer, is Becoming by Michelle Obama. Um, I'm currently doing like a um, 75 soft challenge, which is like a fitness challenge, and in it, you have to read 10 pages of nonfiction every single day, and I don't really have that many nonfiction books at the moment. Uh, so, this is what I have, and I've been reading like 10 15 pages a day. I don't want to overshoot because then I won't have any nonfiction books left to read. I have just this and another one, and that's it. So, I'm only reading 10 pages a day. Um, 
but so far I am loving this. This is a memoir uh, of Michelle Obama and so far the writing is beautiful, her narration is just wonderful, like so good and I am really really enjoying this book, like genuinely enjoying it. I am 164 pages in so like as you can see I've read this part here and I still have this one here and it's just I'm loving it so far so I think I will finish this in July but if I don't that's fine because I don't want to overshoot again <laughs> I I still have a lot of days from the 75 challenge so um this is part of it uh, after that again has nothing to do with summer I want to read uh, poems 1953 to 1988 by um, Anthony Twain which is just can you see that okay which is just a book of poems as you can see after that I have three books that I want to read this summer I'm not going to read all three of them in July so I'm thinking of picking like one of these two let me see hmm Maybe we'll do, I don't know. I think I'll I'll pick A Boy Called Ocean for July and leave these two for August or for July if I manage to finish this one. So that's the plan, that's what we're going for. And after that, I have these two books. This is Heaven's Official Blessing, volume two. Yeah, volume two and three, as you can see. And I'm just, I'm so excited to read them. I don't know if I'm going to, read them both. I put them both because usually when I read a series I want to continue the next book right away but I, I might also just read this in July and then leave this for August but again it all depends on the mood so we'll see how it goes. Yeah and then now we have it. The last books that I plan on reading that are my choice if, if I can call it that are these five um, so like the first five um, books from the Penguin Modern box. These are Letter from Birmingham Jail by Martin Luther King. Then we have Television Was a Baby Crawling Toward uh, That Death Chamber by Allen Ginsberg. Um, then we have The Breakthrough by Daphne du Maurier. And then we have The Custard Heart by Dorothy Parker. And the last one is three Japanese short stories by Akutagawa and others. And I also recently filmed a video um, going through like the entire Penguin Modern box and just seeing all the books. So if you want to check it out, please do. I mean, I think it's a great video. So these are the five I'm limiting myself to this month. And by that, I mean, these are the five I really want to finish reading them so I can like progress with the box. Um, I might read more but that again fully depends on just how I feel because sometimes I feel like reading a ton like this month or sometimes I don't feel like reading at all so um, I don't want to force it but this is what I plan on doing. So yeah those are the books I plan on reading because I want to. Now let's go to the third category. Now the third category, which you could also call the best category, is ta -da! It's the little TBR jar. It's just so cute. I love it so much. And seeing as I have so many books that I plan on reading that are either summer themed or just books I really want to read, I'm only going to pick one book from here. It pains me to pick only one, but we have to restrict ourselves because right now I have 11 books that I plan on reading. I'll buy some of them, like five of them are very short. There's still 11 books and that's a lot. So we're only going to pick one book for here. Yes, so let's do that. Um, also, if it's in French, I'll just put it back because I don't feel like reading <laughs> French. So here we are. Let's go and get this one. What color is it? It's blue. I'll show you first and then I'll look. Also, if it's too large of a book, I might just put it back. Just let's do two books just to, so we have options. Okay, this is the first one. Can you see what it says? You couldn't see that. I don't know why it stops focusing. Anyway, um, <laughs> this is Beat the Reaper by Josh 
Bazel, basil, I'm not sure, but this is one of them. And let's pick the other just so we have security. Okay, did we pick this one here? You can now see it, but I picked this one here. Oh, why is it so big? Okay. Oh my God, why is it so large? Okay, this is the second pick. Again, it won't focus for some reason, but this is, oh no, 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 no. We're putting this back because this is the ultimate Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. And see, if it was only the first book, that would be perfectly fine. But is this mammoth? Because it's the whole series. Um, this is the ultimate Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and it's 750 pages. 750 pages. Do you see that? It's half of my face. We're not doing that in July. Nuh uh. No, sir. Put that back there. So let's pick another one. Let me fold this back because we're not doing the hitchhikers. It would have been appropriate for the summer, I think, but no, we're not happening, no. Okay, this is a pink one. I'll show it to you first, even though my camera doesn't focus. This is the first one, and this is, this is another that we're putting back because this is Writing Home by Alan Bennett, and I don't, it's another girthy book, I know it, so. Why is this happening? Okay, last chance, the third time's the charm. This is a green one, it's a very pretty color, so let's see you first. Is it going to be good or am I going to be disappointed again? So, this is The Curse of the Single Stable by Suzanne Schlossberg. Hmm, we'll see. I, I know the cover of this one, but I don't remember what this is about, so let's look into them and Pick these two books. Here we are at the secondary location and let's pick these two books and then talk about them. So the first one is Beat the Reaper by Josh Bazell. I don't know if it will focus this time, no. We're not doing that. Okay, Beat the Reaper. Oh, is this one here? This one here? That was so easy to find, that never happens. And the second one is the Curse of the Single Stable by Suzanne Schlossberg. Why can't I find it? Like, where can it possibly be? I found it. It was here. Okay, this is it. Let's talk about them. I'm back. So these are the two books that I picked. So let's talk about them. Also, let me, that's better, have you a little bit closer. So the first one that I picked, which was Beat the Reaper by Josh Bazell, Basil, something like that. It's just, it's a really nice cover. Uh, this does not say what it's about. Don't you just love books that don't say what they're about? Just fantastic, really. Um, okay, maybe in the back. It doesn't say what this is about. It only has um, words of praise on the back, which mean absolutely nothing to me. So we'll go blind and just, if I read it, I'll tell you what it's about. But it has a surgeon and the reaper, so make your own assumptions, I guess. But this is a book. So <laughs> the second one is The Curse of the Singles Table by um, Suzanne Schlossberg. This is a true story of a thousand one nights without sex, apparently. Okay, so Suzanne Schlossberg calls it the streak. A thousand one days without sex, just 36 days shorter than the Kennedy administration. Is she too picky, too bitchy, or too shy? Does she have chlamydia? No, she's a smart, good-looking writer who at 34 has crossed the dreaded line from single to still single. Now, in hilarious detail, Suzanne chronicles the true story of the streak and her outrageous attempt to end it. Her search for the most date-friendly town, her internet dates, analyzed FBI style, a global hunt for the South Pacific to the Arctic tundra. Ultimately, she is forced to ask herself, do I really need a man to find happiness? 
For every woman who has endured the indignity of the single stable at her friend's wedding, this book is a real treat. This sounds so good. Also, I don't know who on earth sold this for 10, 60 euros because that is an absurd amount of money for a book. Like, I get it, but it's just, mm -mm, mm -mm. I say that nine full well. There are books I paid way more for, but <laughs> we'll disregard that. But so far, I'm loving it, so I might dip my toes into both books and see if I like them or if I get to them because I have so many books I plan on reading in July like I've overwhelmed myself but it is what it is and que sera sera that's all I can say so yeah this is the other book and let me show you all the books that I plan on reading because it's it's absurd okay can you whoa, whoa, don't fall don't fall don't fall don't fall oh my god please I am just a girl, please don't fall. Okay, okay, okay. These are all the books I plan on reading and <laughs> seeing them like this is absurd because this is a lot of books, like a lot of books, like a lot, like a lot of books. So, um, Genuinely don't know what the hell is wrong with me, but we'll try. We'll attempt. If we fail, we fail. Um, but I will try my best to read them because, I don't know, this month I've had so much fun reading, so maybe that's why I'm, I'm overachieving for next month because I don't know if it's going to happen. <laughs> because this is a ridiculous amount of books, but um, it is what it is, once again. So, um, these are all the books I plan on reading and um, we'll see how it goes. So please stick around, watch my other videos, I promise they're really nice. Um, tell me what book thing in July if you're reading anything nice or um, anything at all. Um, so yeah, please like, leave a comment and please consider subscribing because I promise they're all really nice or at least I try. So yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye! I just give the earth my soul Hear my thoughts bounce off the walls